This is a 2022 Suzuki Bergman 400, specifically one bought in Japan. And I wanted to talk about the saddlebags I ended up getting for it. And they are soft bags because I cannot find anybody that has figured out how to mount a rack on the back to put hard cases on. And I guess in the end, I don't really mind all that much having soft bags because it makes them easier to take on and off. And that's what I'm gonna show you how that works and how they fit onto a Bergman. I believe this will be pretty applicable to any of the 400cc Bergmans from 2017 until 2023 so far. I don't think they've changed the body style, but basically what had happened is that before, I believe 2017, <laughs> I don't know the exact years, but I think that's right. Check your, check your, check your bike before you buy anything based on anything I say. The rack for your foot, the um, floorboards, they went all the way back and that gave you a place to bolt in the racks. But since they've changed the way that this is formed and given the passengers some flip out foot pegs, it has made it very difficult for anybody on the back of the bike where you would put a rack for a hard case to attach it to anything. So I don't think anybody, I don't think, I just think it might, maybe it might be physically impossible without like putting holes into the bike or something. I don't know, but nobody's making racks for these things. And I contacted a bunch of manufacturers and they said they don't have any plans to. So we're stuck with having these guys. I did put a hard case up on the back for like a, a helmet case type thing on the back. And that was awesome. I got all the instructions on how to do that off of Mitch's scooter stuff on YouTube. His video is like Oscar worthy, it's amazing. <laughs> so that got sorted pretty easy and that gives you a lot of extra space. Of course you have a lot of space down here, but for touring I wanted to have even more space on the sides. First up, I'll just show you what the bags look like. So they are essentially identical and there is one for each side, of course. And they're connected with these straps and I'll show you how the straps all work together on the actual bike in a second. Um, they've got like little cup holder things here that go towards the front of the bike. So you could have like drinks in here if you wanted to. Um, and they also have an expandable wall. So you can unzip this all the way around. This comes out a pretty significant margin. Um, I'm not gonna go deep into the bags because it's more about how they fit on the Bergman than it is the bags. But so far I'm pretty happy with them. The zippers feel really good on mine. Like it just really smooth and easy to open. The build quality seems fine. Um, I've only used them on one long trip, so I can't be like super reviewy about how they are, but uh, they function and they fit on the Bergman, which is to me uh, the most important part. <laughs> so basically the way that this works is you open up the trunk on the bike and then you take your bags and you put one on each side. What I have been doing is taking this middle strap there are three straps two are velcro and one is just like one of these plastic buckle things and i've been taking this and dropping it down on the front side of this handbar and then the second velcro back the second the second velcro strap back here on the back i have just been taking that and running it through the underside on both sides what this does is it puts one strap on one side and one strap on the other so that the bags can't move forward and back. It keeps them in place really good. Pulling this pretty tight because you want to keep the bag off of the exhaust on the back. And then the other Velcro strap, again, just kind of pretty tight. And once they're on, you got to give it a little extra oof, and then they're on. They're good. That's the whole process of putting them on. And to me, they seem to fit pretty good. The main concern that I had was that there was enough space between the muffler and the right side bag. And because this is a guard and the actual heat from the muffler isn't actually coming from down there, that gives you like pretty good space. Even when this is full, it leans down a little bit like that, but it's really not too bad. They've also given you a bungee cord and I'm not a big fan of this because it's metal and I feel like that's really gonna just end up scratching things up in the long run. But what I've done is I've run it through these little hooks that they've put on the bag. I'm not sure if this is the proper way of doing this. And then I'm putting it up through here like this. 
in doing that. So you've got now four connection places and it also kind of holds up the back end a little bit. But you have to be careful because the more you lift the back end, the more it can kind of push the front end down and then that could end up leaning on the muffler. Um, but I mean, these things are rock solid. They are, there's no way this is gonna come off. This is what it looks like with a passenger on the back of the bike if the passenger was six foot seven. <laughs> Obviously, I have no trouble. If you had really small legs, maybe like a child or something sitting on the back might have problem getting their legs down to the foot pegs, but there's quite a bit of room the way that everything is set up on the bike, even with the bags hanging here. So I wouldn't consider it a big concern. The only complaint that I've had with the bags, and this isn't really so much about the fit on the Bergman as it is the bags themselves, the waterproofing is basically zero on the bags themselves. And they come with these like, waterproof cover which probably under like normal circumstances are fine you take them on put them on the bag like this and maybe from the bottom is better or from the front i don't know i've only done it a couple times this is great if it's just sprinkling or it's just raining a little bit there's a um one of these things one of these elastic E cords. So they're kind of covered. The problem that you're gonna have, and ask me how I know, if rain can come in this direction, the bags can fill with water, and then this whole thing just becomes a bucket. <laughs> and then everything inside just soaks up all of the anything that's got wet. So if you're gonna be in anything that's gonna be like a substantial downpour at all, you have to waterproof everything inside the bags <laughs> or it'll get wet, trust me. <laughs> because I was recently on a trip and the first time I had to use these bags, I put them on, I was like, okay, yeah, I mean, it's gonna be maybe okay. And uh, the rain that came through was like typhoon level horrendousness. So this is happening now. It's insane. There is a ton of lightning, a ton of thunder, and I can't, I mean, obviously, I can't drive in that. <laughs> it's, it's like legitimately insanely breezy. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna wait this out. Everything in the bags ended up sitting in this much water just because this thing will fill with water and it won't drain out the bottom of it. So the design, I mean, like, what do you do aside from build the actual casing out of waterproof material and then you have extra weight and like, I get why it's like this, but you can't rely on these bags to be waterproof. So don't put anything in there that is going to get hurt if it's wet, unless it is also then waterproof somehow inside of another bag. So for a quick fix, I bought a bunch of like really big Ziploc bags. <laughs> and I carry them on my bike now. So if I do run into a situation like that, I can like throw in anything that's like, you know, worrisome and hope the Ziploc bags kind of hold some of the moisture out. But uh, I would say that if you're gonna ride in the rain a lot, this is not a good solution to be like, just to be blunt. Um, or you can just put your expensive stuff, you know, stuff that can't get wet underneath the trunk or in a top box that actually has a seal on it or something and then just throw clothes in here. If they get wet, it's a bummer, but it's not the end of the world. And I'll show you how I take the bags off and how simple it does become. So open the glove box, take off the bungee cords carefully so you don't scratch anything. Same on the other side, bungee cords, no scratchy. And the thing that is cool, just because of the way everything is lined up in here, all you really need to do is pull off the back strap and get it out of both sides. And now both the bags will just slide forward and come off. The one final thing that I had been curious about when I was buying these bags is if they would cause any damage to the side of the bike in the sense of the material that rubs against them. It doesn't seem like it is specifically treated material or anything but it is also not something that seems like it's gonna be causing any rubbage or any discoloration or scratches or anything. I don't see anything on the side of the bike and I've put a couple hundred miles on it with them. So I would hope that <laughs> if they were gonna destroy something, I would know by now. But uh, on the other hand, I would hope that they wouldn't destroy anything at all. But so far it seems like it's okay. 
and the only thing that I really have any concern about is that metal on the bungee cord, but the bungee cord comes out very simply, so you can easily replace it with some plastic uh, tipped one or something like that. So yeah, I mean, so far, like aside from the rain thing, I'm happy with them. Um, for the price, I guess they're probably pretty good. I don't expect them to last forever, but I do kind of, in the end, enjoy not having a rack on the back because where we live, you can lane split. And if you start building out width on the bike, then that's like less and less you can lane split. Uh, I find that with these bags on not expanded, it doesn't really expand out the muffler side of the bike at all because they're about the same width as the muffler on the bike. But on this side, the bag can come out a little bit further than your front mirror. So if you do lane split and you have the bags on, especially if they're expanded, you really gotta be cognizant of the width of the back end of the bike because she's already got kind of a thick ass. So <laughs> it's just like a little thicker. This is to me a pretty good solution because you can take them off. They're not permanently there and it only takes a couple minutes. It's not that big of a deal. And if you're like on a trip and you want to take them in for the hotel because your clothes are in there or whatever you saw, that only takes a second to pull them off the bike and just take them in. So the whole system is probably about as good as I could want if only the waterproofing was a little more reliable.